Welcome tonight on the news on Lumen Christi Television Network. I am Chinyere Ike Oreke. The Nigerian government has been urged to forward its interest on education by building good infrastructures in schools and employing capable hands to bring back the educational system of the country as it used to be in the early 90s. This assertion was made earlier this week by Reverend Brother Stephen Lucas, OP, during a question and answer session at a press conference held in St. Dominic Catholic Church, Yaba, Lagos, in his honor as part of the activities to mark his St. Paul celebration after his 57 years of meritorious and selfless service to God and humanity in Nigeria. And uh, but you go down now and you see that there were so many buildings, some legally, some unlegally, and, uh, and uh, they go on strike very easily. They don't have all the facilities. I think the government, this should be a priority in the government too. Reverend Brother Stephen Lucas, who received a letter from his American superior to return to his country, will be missed by lay faithful, both in St. Dominic and Nigeria as a whole for the good life he lived during his stay in Nigeria and also for the numerous projects he executed. I am in 1972 when I was too small to understand who he was. But I, I mean, we were coming here for mass. Uh, I, will, I will have my secondary school in the East. So during holidays, we would uh, we were three of, three of, two of my siblings. We were in the chapel, and then we were chanting psalms, and at some point, the whole thing got mixed up, and I looked at Bruce Lee, he just smiled. And after mass, we got out, and he said, we're just thinking of God, that God will just be all there smiling at his children. You know? But for me, it was like, ah, ah, we messed up. And He's a likable person, very humble, very sincere in everything that he's doing. And they're very homely. I can remember when brother was still the director of vocation support, whenever we go for the meeting, in fact, if not for anything, we all... Reverend Brother Stephen Lucas concluded by appealing to the Nigerian government to create employment for its citizens, increase salary structure, and most importantly, improve the agricultural system of the country instead of focusing on oil. This is very important. You know, uh, one, of the, one of the problems in Nigeria is people get jobs, and you know how hard it is to get a job. When they get a job, they're paid 25000 uh, whether they're working in a factory or some kind of a bakery or whatever. Now, one boy told me just this last week, he makes 25000 a week. He spends $600, 600 Nara on food every day and 500 Nara and transport. He said he'd like to find someplace closer to work, but he can't. So this is 3,300 uh, Nara, uh, 33,000 Nara a month. And so what, how does he pay his rent? How does he do anything? He can't. There should be salary structures. And we need more jobs. We need the country to, to utilize the funds they have to build new factories and not being buying things from overseas that they could 